Hi, this is Dr. Hayek and this video is about acid-base equilibria. In today's video we will talk about the percent dissociation. Before I start talking about this topic, let me remind you of the outline of this chapter where I will be talking about many different topics, so please refer to the corresponding video for the topic of interest. Now, consider a solution that is made from hydrofluoric acid and we add to it sodium fluoride. The uh, Ka of the hydrofluoric acid is equal to 7.2 times 10 to the power minus 4. Now remember that hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid. Now sodium fluoride, because it contains sodium, so it's very, uh, very well soluble in water, and it will completely dissociate in water following this reaction. So you have sodium fluoride that's going to give the sodium ion plus the fluoride. Now, what are the major species in this solution? So we have the sodium ion, we have water, we have the fluoride, and since the hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid, it will not completely dissociate, and the major species is the acid itself. Now, if we write the equilibrium of the dissociation of the acid, which is hydrofluoric acid given H plus plus fluoride, now, if we add fluoride, which is going to come from the sodium fluoride added to the solution, the equilibrium will shift to the left, and this is according to Le Chatelier's principle, to minimize the concentration of F- added, and therefore will be making more HF. So this equilibrium will lie more to the left, which means we should expect to have a less dissociation of the hydrofluoric acid. Now, Remember, this topic is, uh, has been discussed before, and this is called also a common ion effect, where the fluoride is a common ion between the sodium fluoride and the hydrogen fluoride. Now, when we say percent dissociation, this is only uh, valid for weak acids, because strong acids, we consider that they completely dissociate. Like in the following example, where all the acid will dissociate to give H plus and A minus. However, in the case of a weak acid, some molecules of the acid will dissociate or some quantity of the acid will dissociate and it will give uh, certain uh, uh, concentrations of H plus and A minus. And we can clearly see here that we have an incomplete dissociation. So by determining the percent dissociation of the acid, we can know the uh, remaining concentration or the concentrations of H plus and A minus uh, that formed. Now let's discuss the following example where it says the equilibrium concentration of H plus in one molar solution of HF is 2.7 times 10 to the power minus 2 molar and the percent dissociation of HF is 2.7 percent. However, he wants us to calculate the concentration of H plus and the percent dissociation of HF in a solution that contains 1.0 molar HF and 1.0 molar sodium fluoride and the Ka of HF is given. So in this case we have added the uh, uh, sodium fluoride and then we will have the common ion effect. So how are we going to solve this question? First Let's determine the major species in this reaction. As we have discussed before, we will have the hydrofluoric acid, we have the fluoride, the sodium ion, and water. Now, the sodium, it's neither an acid nor a base. Water is a very weak acid or base. So now, we can write the equilibrium of the dissociation of the hydrofluoric acid, where the Ka expression is given by the product of the concentration of H+, and concentration of F minus divided by the concentration of HF and this is equal to 7.2 times 10 to the power minus 4. Now we will use I stable to determine the equilibrium concentrations of H plus F minus and HF. So initially we had one molar of HF, zero molar of H plus before any dissociation of HF and one molar of F minus. Now this F minus is not coming from HF, this F minus is coming from the complete dissociation of sodium fluoride. 
Now, after the change, where some of the HF will dissociate to give H plus and F minus. Now, at equilibrium, we will have the concentration of HF is equal to 1 minus X, the concentration of H plus is equal to X, and the concentration of F minus is equal to 1 plus X. Now, replacing these concentrations by their values in the expression of Ka, we get the following expression where we can ignore x because it's going to be too small compared to one molar and therefore we can simplify this expression. Now of course you can use calculators and calculate the x however if you simplify it like this the calculation will be easier. So now if we solve for x, x is going to be equal to 7.2 times 10 to the power minus 4 molar. So as you can see from the value of x, it's too small compared to 1, so we can safely neglect it in this case. So now that we have determined x, so this is going to be equal to the concentration of H+. plus. Now how can we find the percent dissociation of HF? It's equal to the concentration of H plus divided by the initial concentration of HF multiplied by 100%. So that's equal to the value of X that we found divided by 1 molar multiplied by 100%. And the percent dissociation of HF is equal to 0.072%. However, remember the percent dissociation of HF without adding any of the sodium fluoride solution it was equal to 2.7%. So as you can see here, we can see that the percent dissociation of HF has decreased because of the common ion effect that will shift the equilibrium toward making more of the HF rather than dissociating the HF. I hope this video was helpful to you, so please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.